Charlie Kirk. A right-wing talking head claims engineers can graduate in 18 months if colleges don't make them take useless classes. Thoughts? He was thinking about how expensive college is and how it's mostly a scam. He mentioned that they should shorten college programs to three years and that engineers can be done with school in 18 months. For the record, he doesn't have an engineering background. Edit. Thoughts? And there's a link to the video. Okay, let's watch it. I'm a strong proponent of higher education, whether that's a trade school yep. or a college, but also on that same note, I do not think every degree needs to be taught in school. Do you think we need to restructure our education system yeah. in a way that benefits I, industry? I think college is largely a scam. We have, we have way too many kids going to college. I'm sure all of you, if I said, how many of you are forced to take classes that you think are a complete waste of your time, money? Everyone's hand goes up, right? Yeah, exactly. Uh, you're paying way too much money. You're spending way too much time here. So if you want to study engineering, you could actually get an engineering degree in like 18 months. You don't need to get it in four years. There's so many different ideas. The best one that I have is make college three years, not four years. You'll all save 25% immediately and you'll get into the job market one year earlier. You don't need the degree as much as you think. You might say, oh, no one will hire me. That's not true. That's increasingly less true. Employers are hiring more and more young people with good ethics, you know, strong character and an ability to scrap and hustle. One of my concerns with college is it creates lazier people. Let me preface this by saying I don't disagree with everything that he has to say, and I won't comment on other things that he has to say on this topic. I think that largely there are a lot of jobs that can be done without a four-year degree, but engineering is not the example that I would pick as something that could be done in 18 years. And I think he just did that to be, I don't know, controversial or whatever. But no, I don't think you could get the engineering degree in 18 months. I mean, maybe if you were taking... I don't know, two classes at a time and you took eight hours of class a day. So four hours a day in each one of these classes and you took each of those classes for a month. All right. No, no, not even then. No, you couldn't. No, there, no. Okay. Yeah. And then you took no breaks at all whatsoever. So how many classes did I take in my engineering? No, you can't like the, it, that's the thing is there's so many prerequisites and co-requisites. The experience builds upon itself. I mean, maybe you could do like a college cram course in 18 months to get through most of an engineering program, but it would kill you mentally. It would drive you absolutely insane. Now, could you graduate with an engineering degree, degree in three years? Yeah, maybe if your program was structured You'd have to really structure your program to try to make it possible to graduate in 18 and three years. And you'd have to also come into college already having taken probably calculus one and two, already having taken physics one and two, already taken chemistry. Like you'd have to already have all of your prerequisites and the classes that most people have to take. Like most people don't take calculus based physics in high school. And that's two semesters of physics right there. And maybe you could cram them both into one semester, but that would be insane. There's so much to learn. And engineering is just not the degree that would work for this, in my opinion. I, I It's just there's there's too much to learn. Honestly, it's hard enough to squeeze it into four years. And if you're graduating early, you're, you're hurting yourself. Also, other comment about about this is that he says that a lot of classes are a scam. And for example... I took a class in economics. Okay. I love that class in economics so much that, and people would say, oh, is that relevant to engineering? Well, yes, first of all, it is. All engineers take have to take an engineering economics course, but Charlie might not think that that's relevant. But here I am five years into my career, and now my engineering firm is trying to negotiate a rate increase with one of our clients and we're having to use escalation indices and I'm having to use my engineering economics to justify increases in our cost of services to one of our clients. And, and that interest in economics and that taking the economics course actually inspired me to get an economics minor. And I took a course in environmental economics where I learned about how tax incentives and how governments will drive certain behaviors with regards to environmental policy by doing economic policy and by creating financial incentives. And then sure enough, now I work for a company who our clients are now using those credits to fund and to get FID for their projects. And now we as a contractor are having to help them navigate that process. So it's all actually, you don't, maybe you don't think it's relevant because I'm not doing physics or I'm not doing math or I'm not doing thermo or whatever, but 
having that well-rounded education, I took a religion course and now I've, I'm, I'm more well-rounded and I have a better understanding on religions. And sure enough, I work in a company that has people of all different religious backgrounds and I have a much better understanding and relation to, you know, where those people are at in the religious beliefs. I mean, Charlie thinks that a lot of these courses aren't relevant. And yes, I will argue that there are many ways that colleges have increased their prices and made college generally unaffordable and people are taking out student loans and it's very difficult. I, I get all that, but generally well-rounded people make better teammates. So it, it, I'm kind of mixed on this, but pulling all that back, can an engineering degree be done in 18 months? No, no, I don't think an engineering degree, maybe, maybe if you have a very precise program, you can definitely do a engineering technician program in 18 months, but, and we need people to do that too, but not, not the academic engineering degree that, that many people that call themselves engineers have. Okay. Well, that was a good one. Let's get into the next one. Just made a pilot, then they threw me on the stations. Nah, I'm not complaining, nah, I'm not complaining. My thoughts get complicated, I cannot explain in layman's. Never losing focus because I ain't chasing payments. Still playing in the basin while I'm working on arrangements. They heard the kid in 50 countries, thank God that's amazing. But I'd rather thank Spotify, they put me on the stations.